Hey guys, I just got an email from Gaia GPS this morning. It's the app I used to do my trip planning and routing uh, nav on the motorcycle. Just a smartphone app you can buy. And um, they released this really cool new feature. So I just wanted to show this off because I think it's like pretty neat. And you can do some of this stuff in Google Earth, but it just doesn't, you know, doesn't integrate with the way I sort of do my adventure travels. Um, so I'm in the web app. I don't think this works on um, mobile yet, but uh, I wanted to show you guys. There's some really cool areas I rode in Idaho this summer, and here's one of them. You sort of you sort of come. So this is the Salmon River here by these campgrounds, and it goes out to Riggins, and you ride sort of through some some mountainous area and then you come and you drop down into that area and then the the BDR drops back uh, along the river and then goes back up in elevation again so you can see these these uh, um, switchbacks that you go up to get up here this this is called French grade um, uh, along the French Creek and it's a really cool area but and even with the um, Topo maps, I don't think it really gives you a sense of like what this looks like. But what they've recently done is they added a 3D mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the satellite view, turn off the topo, and you can click this 3D button and it drops the whole thing into 3D. And these controls work very similar to like Google Earth. So if I hold control and I drag like up, it changes the the tips the view up and down. And if I drag side to side, it turns it. Um, so you can use this to get, with the satellite topo, to get a really good idea of sort of what the terrain looks like. I just thought this was the most cool thing. Um, we were riding this summer, and we rode along this ridge. And I can remember stopping here uh, at this turn and sort of getting some cool pictures down into the valley below with the river and stuff. And I can't, I can't tip the view down uh, far enough um, so you can sort of see the horizon. But we rode down this grade, and I, I don't know, the temperature went up probably like 20 degrees as we rode down. I think it goes from like 6,000 feet to around 2,000 or something like that. Um, and then you sort of, the, if following the trail, we, we went out to Riggins to stay the night, but following the trail, you, you ride along the river for a little while. And there's just along the river, there's just like beautiful pictures. I think one of the best pictures I took on the trip was from here down down the river here, and it just looks like a, a mirror that you get such great reflections. Um, and then you follow the river for some time longer. Google Earth has actually has like a, a follow mode where you can follow the track. I don't know. I don't think they have that in Gaia yet, but. Um, you can sort of see how mountainous this terrain is, and they've mapped the satellite imagery onto the terrain, which is super cool. Um, and they even have like shadows and stuff working. I don't know if these are sh shadows that are out of the satellite images or how exactly that works, um, how they're projecting that stuff. Um, but it's super cool. So then you start to ride up this French Creek. This is like a gravel road, and then you switch off onto sort of more difficult trail. And then these sets of switchbacks here. You can just see how, as I turn this, like what this terrain is actually like. Um, it was just like super cool, and you can see the scale here. So about a thousand, you know, on my screen, about an inch is about a thousand feet. So these are maybe like three thousand feet, two, two, two or three thousand feet along here. Um, and then you sort of crest over this hill, and then you sort of go down into another valley. Um, it maybe also gives you an idea of just how like beautiful this country is, and why I spent like two months this summer just piddling around, riding my motorcycle through this stuff. It's absolutely fantastic um, country. Um, so it's cool to see places you've been in this in this 3D view. And it actually works pretty well. You know, my PC here is like 
five or six year old sort of tech, so it's not like um, super fast uh, computer by any means. So let me go back to 2D view and some areas I've actually ridden through. I'm also doing some trip planning and I would like to maybe spend some time in Colorado again this year if I can and this is where you get just some of the best um, mountain passes like near Lake City down here. I wrote, I wrote some of this on the TAT years ago and I haven't looked in this 3D view what this stuff looks like so I'm kinda kinda curious let's tip the camera a little bit zoom in a little bit so from Lake City you go over I think what's called Cinnamon Pass if I recall correctly um, and you get up to somewhere around I think 13,000 feet through Cinnamon Pass you can see this is kind of like a a lower river area where this lake is. Um, and you sort of get an idea. This is this is the approach, I believe, up through I think I believe this is Cinnamon Pass. Maybe this is a different pass on the BDR. Yeah, here it is, Cinnamon Pass. Um, but it is so cool like riding up through this stuff. Um, yeah, I remember riding up this pass in 2018. It's not very difficult. It's traveled by, you know, 4x4s four and stuff. Um, but the, the, the mountains in Colorado are just really majestic. So you, so you're, you sort of ride through this saddle, and I think Cinnamon Pass here is like 13,000 feet. And then on the back side, you sort of drop down slowly. And then you get into some scree and stuff on the back side, which is kind of a little difficult to ride. These turnbacks here seem a little treacherous because you're sort of on like loose rock. Um, but then you come back down through this gulch, and then you go back up again. This valley is really pretty, and you come up to, I believe it's California Pass. There's like old mines and stuff up through here. Um, and then, yeah, I think you you sort of do a couple switchbacks, and then you come back up. This is California Pass right here, I believe, and you get great views. You get this the views of this tiny little lake here, and then I think this ends up dumping you down into Silverton. But here you're um, over thirteen thousand feet on this ridge, and you sort of double back down, and then back over the mountain. Um, towards, I believe, Silverton. It's been a while since I've ridden this. And, you know, maybe it doesn't, it, you know, when you're on the trail, these mountains are over your head. So this gives you very much like an airplane sort of view. But I just thought it was so cool. Looks like they got some, or maybe that's my elevation data. My elevation data and my track might be bad for some reason. Um, or actually, no, this is the BDR. This is the BDR track I'm looking at right now. So maybe they, they have some elevation errors in their data. Looks like there's a hop there that's not actually there. Oh, and then this mountain, this one that's like all rust colored and stuff, the, the, the pictures you get of this mountain from back here, um, one of the best pictures I took, like riding the tat, was of this mountain here. So it is just so cool. You can see the terrain and, you know, the, the resolution of this satellite imagery, I don't I don't know how what it is, but it's it looks pretty good, you know. I think someday in you know maybe in, in things like Microsoft Flight Simulator, you probably get better data, um, um, like real height on the trees and stuff. But this is just really cool and. Uh, I don't know if I'll get the time this summer to do some more riding in this in this area in Colorado, but I believe it's this is what they call the Alpine Loop. Um, but yeah, it is just a super super cool area, and you know some people like Garmin's products or like Trail Tech. Um, 
but I think the guys at Gaia GPS are just doing awesome work and the product continues to get like better and better. So I thought I'd just make a little video showing this off. If you're if you're into any sort of outdoor hiking or camping or writing or anything like that, um, Gaia is a great product to have in your pocket. So that's all I got for you. Uh, see you guys later.